Hello guys and welcome to the stream. You're watching Play of the J and I'm Jay. So uh, we got our first scrims for this week here for in store for you tonight. So it's going to be Battle Arena scrims. We've got four rounds. Erangel Miramar, Erangel Miramar, all in FPP mode. And it is packed tonight. We got 22 teams playing guys. So that's an insane number. So um, yeah, just to introduce the teams while we are getting uh, underway here. So team number one, we have Revo. Team 2 is John Sees Everybody. Team 3 is Lousy. Team 4 is Gift Alpha. Team 5 is Potato Squad. Team 6 is Battle Arena Elites. Team 7 is Awful Squad. Team 8 is Samsung BWN. I'm probably just going to call them Samsung, honestly. Um, team number 9, FFG. Team 10, Boogie Mum. Uh, team 11 is going to be Quacker Jr. Team 12 is Golden Army Factory. Hold on. I think there might be a slightly updated list. Or is there? No, anyway, so I think we're just going to go ahead with this list. But basically, the Golden Army Factory is going to be the Resurgence guys, I think. Um, the Baduks and Kaki Langar is going to be Team 13. Um, team 14 is going to be Gank Murung or Gank FTY. Uh, team 15 is going to be Lemon. Team 16 is Silver Wolf. Uh, team 18 will be Quacker. Team 19 will be Minum Kopi Jep. Um, team 20 will be Lao Merabiru or Red Sea. And uh, Team 21 will be Uzi Co. And tw Team 22 will be Team Crayon. So let's get started in here for this... Uh, oops, wrong one. Sorry, let's get started in here for this uh, very first round of the evening, guys. So what do we have in store for you? We have... Uh, this particular game here is going to be seeing the... Uh, plane coming all the way down from the military base here, all going all the way down up rather towards uh, Zarki and stuff. And actually, we see shit tons of people here just all getting out here right at the start of the game. So uh, we're gonna have Quacker Junior here. We're gonna have uh, Gang FDY. We're gonna be having the the team members from uh, who's that? That's Resurgence, and uh, yeah, Resurgence does like to come here a lot. So. Um, is also going to be lousy there and then um, elsewhere here uh, towards Pachinki side we're going to have um, Boogie Mom, we're going to have um, Quacker Jr. and uh, so this is going to be uh, FF, FFG I think but then oh no sorry it is just Team Quacker and already here we see that Resurgence already taking some hits here in this early game as uh, currently Legendary 6 almost no health left you know but uh, Brax has gone down already and he's going to be finished off. So that's an early game for him. And Raging King goes down here. So it uh, looks like Uziko going to be without one of their early team members here. But looks like the hot, hot area is going to very much be around the military island, guys. So yeah, something to, to look out for right here. And uh, should be a little bit interesting. Uh, I think in terms of the... How the, the rest of the teams are. There's a lot of teams here in the central part of the map at the moment here. And I'm um, not too sure as to why. Uh, no one has gone to Rozog. They've actually gone to the Water Town. we got Awful Squad. We have uh, Golden Army Factory. We do have uh, the team members over here from Quacker Jr. And uh, still some others are still landing in here. we got Gif Alpha dropping here. We have John C's Everybody. And... Uh, I can only assume that this is Team Crayon because I don't, I'm not very familiar with Team 22 colors here. But yes, in any case, oh, it looks like uh, Quick here going to be able to take down uh, Red Sea here. So it looks like Pokoya going down. So a little bit unfortunate at the start of the game. But there is Rain Zero here just hiding out in, in the little shack here. So uh, uh, he'll continue onwards and upwards here. Badooks and Kakilonga are here in South George and they are currently joined together by the team members from Lemon. So Lemon only having two guys here. I think there's still going to be all four team members here from uh, Badooks and Kakilonga. So uh, see how that part ships out here. 
Um, it's gonna be John C's everybody here pushing Imagine and the rest of uh, Golden Army Factory. So currently Imagine just hiding behind the rock. He hasn't actually been spotted yet. Um, I'm not even sure he has a weapon to, to be able to fight here with, but it looks like Chloe is going to be out in the open doing press-ups from the looks of it, and Zrocco and Yeza just completely going to run past here, and uh, maybe just not expecting uh, this little outcome here, but Zrocco, come on, surely you can see him, man. I believe in you. Oh, uh, I guess not. But John C, nobody here. Just managed to spot out Lindo here. And looks like Ileon here. Gonna keep running as well. Also no weapon at all. So that's gonna be a, a sad start to, for Potato Squad here. They lose two of their guys here in the early game. So, uh, yeah. It looks like uh, John C's everybody cleaning house. So, uh, right now all these teams are gonna have to make their moves pretty soon. As uh, currently they're just really too far and it's really getting congested over here around the Pachinki side so it's gonna make it difficult for any of these teams to rotate through the zone but uh, looking pretty over here is gonna be the team members from uh, um, Awful Squad? No, sorry this is Minon Copy Job. Minon Copy Job gonna be pretty okay here but looks like BAE gonna rotate through here got Batman uh, currently uh, leading the way here his other team members are still quite far up north around the Gakka region for now and uh, looks like things have quieted down uh, around the military base for the time being as uh, currently there is a little bit of disengagement as Resurgence has uh, picked up a little bit further away there and uh, the rest of the Quack Junior guys are just going to hang out or oh, no Quacker Team Quacker are just going to hang out there but Novo is going to see that it's going to be Team Lousy there's still going to be the team members from FFG uh, in the vicinity here but it looks like uh, oh M0 going to catch out Barcode here as he's able to catch him on top of the the stairwell there so uh, a nice little pick up there but yeah good uh Luck was lucky to able to to catch that one out. Otherwise, it was going to be a little bit of a tricky situation. But in now in Rosog, we actually have more teams here. Revo together with Red Sea at the moment. Now Ruin here just going to try and see whether or not he can pick off any shots on Rain Zera. I think at the moment it's not going to really be forthcoming, and he can't really hold that kind of position too long here because it's going to have to be quick to start moving here in terms of the zone. So all these other guys are going to have to move. Sorry, it's actually Team Crayon who's all the way up here, Team 22. So uh, this this team over here, Team 23. So we have a, a Team 23, guys. So if you know who Team 23 is, uh, by all means, just write it in the comments of the of the stream chat, guys. And uh, I'll try and update the, the team list here. I was only aware of 22, but uh, more the merrier here. And it looks like Red Sea gonna bug out a little bit here. Danker for Gang FTY gonna be able to catch out Abdul there. A nice catch out there. Papa Zayb is gonna keep going here. And Danker gets on the board here. And looks like M0 also with the two kills. Um, looks like Gang FTY on a good way here. And uh, now we will be seeing that uh, the rest of the team is over here. In Rosok still are pretty much engaging here and not really uh, letting up for the time being. So guys, if you didn't know, last weekend we had both the Predator League uh, qualifiers 1 and 2. And uh, we also had qualifier 3 for the PUBG Malaysia Singapore Championship 2018. So I think there were a bunch of cracking games there. Unfortunately, didn't wasn't able to see any of the Predator League ones. Um, but currently there's going to be the final qualifiers for PUBG. Um, Malaysia Singapore Championship coming up this uh, this coming weekend and I think we can be expecting to see a number of teams all be uh, joining that one who have not appeared yet in qualifiers 1 to 3 so that could be an interesting development to see whether or not uh, these teams actually do uh, join in there so this week is going to be a little bit crucial here in terms of uh, practice here as um, there's going to be only a few days here that they can train both on Battle Arena scrims and maybe the Scrim City uh, games later on here. But looks like a lot of teams here will be looking to try and get as much training as they can here. But now looks like this bridge here, Battle Arena Elites uh, all hold up inside that building for the time being. They take down K-Bytes there. So Minom Kopi Jap going to be in a little bit of a issue with a little bit of issue there. Snazu is still going to try and cover that other side here as uh, so is Rosox D and Darkas for the time time being but BAE kind of narrow here at the moment unless they can get some good shots here um, at least they do have the fortune of uh, having already knocked down K bytes so he's not gonna be having or rather Minokopi are gonna have two guns down so that's why 
We see Batman here is going to start pushing in here. He puts some shots onto Snazu, able to take him down with a headshot there. He's going to focus on Darkas here, but uh, looks like Darkas going to get his gun up first there in that instance. And looks like Minimum Kopi Jap here really going to town. And uh, let's see whether or not Darkas and the rest here can pick them off. Sophia goes down here and looks like Minimum Kopi Jap going to be able to finish that. And BAE is our first team to go out here in round number one of tonight, guys. So, uh... Really interesting start here to the game as uh, now we're seeing that uh, the rest of the teams here, Golden Army Factory, trying to get onto the military island here on this western bridge. But uh, but yeah, these Minokopi Jap guys uh, really getting things done here at the start and they still have all of their players still alive here for the time being. So going to be a nice boost for them as they look to continue later on into the game. And uh, looks like other teams have already started making their moves around the military island. We see Quacker um, have already started moving to these western uh, compounds over here. We do see that there's also going to be some of the others here um, in the form of Resurgence and whatnot who are still going to be hanging out for the time being. But now looking at how things are developing here, uh, I think it, it will be easy to see here that uh, some of these other guys are going to be um, making their moves a little bit over the ways here as currently in Pachiki it is still very much um, still very much outside of the circle so uh, they actually do have to make the or, or rather it's just on the edge so they'll have to probably make the move sooner rather than later so uh, yeah in any case guys uh, we'll see how that one uh, picks up a little bit later on but now, seeing as uh, we got all the teams here, Team Crayon all coming down from the northern side already, and looks like there could be uh, more kills here for Minonkopi Jap here. Uh, looks like Rosox D here going to make the move first, but looks like uh, Silver Wolf's going to be here in this region at the moment, and could be a little bit awkward here. It looks like Sly DD and um, Pashao here are going to hang out in the same building that BAE was in just now, but the two other players from Silver Wolves are currently in the rear. They're just going to try and hang out for the time being here but now looks like the the team members from Minon Kopi Jap here are going to opt to try and get onto a boat here and see whether or not they can make that transition a little bit earlier here as uh currently it, things are getting a little bit more crowded here onto the mainland here but now you see John C nobody and John C's everybody is going to start pushing on to the two players here in the rear for Silver Wolves. So uh, going to be a little bit dicey here if they're not too careful. Now, just trying to get a little bit more information for the time being before they start piling in. There is still a lot of the circle that's still covering this uh, main ground here. But the sooner that they're able to spot out some of the others. So Zorako able to sp spot out Sly DD here. So he's going to start relaying some of that information accordingly. And uh, we'll pick up a little bit on that one later on as this develops but currently we see that um the rest of the players here Baduk and uh, Kakilangar Baduk Kakilangar are coming down here we see that uh, others here uh, awful squad are also making their their moves here now it looks like uh, John sees everybody going to consolidate their position for the time being while they try and wait and see how the rest of this is going to develop but with the Baduk and Kaki Langar team here coming coming into this position, then it actually might be a little bit interesting whether or not that things could come out. But it looks like Rivo dying there is uh, Rain Zera going to be able to pick him off for Red Sea. But now we see that NRL here trying to uh, get a little bit of view onto the players from GIF Alpha. He's not going to shoot just yet. Um, probably prior. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this circle. The second circle is absolutely devastating. These teams are not going to have that much fun when they try to, to get inside the zone. And uh, almost certainly it's still going to be on the military island, but just covers so little of it now that really all these teams need to haul ass if they're going to have any chance at getting a good position inside the center. So a lot of the teams, of course, will generally play that style. I think that's what we usually see for uh, Malaysian teams. Now, of course, it is going to be more than just Malaysian teams here, but... Uh, is predominantly Malaysian teams here at the moment and it looks like Uzi Ko goes down there so some saying gonna get some nice frags there and now we are seeing that the the push is coming here Fleoflux gonna get one of them down Zrocco for uh, John C's everybody is uh, in a little bit of trouble uh, he's been knocked out but it looks like Fleoflux gonna get caught out by two of the team members there the nade really making it difficult for him to hear anything there in terms of the push that was coming on from those two players but now Afa I'm gonna try and posture around a little bit Esco Rex is in, uh, in the adjacent building able to get Caxis there so uh, now Afa I'm trying to throw the nade but he's getting shot by SKS across the ways from Yes, and now he's gonna just scatter away but looks like John C nobody gonna catch him out now it's going to leave esco rex here 
and looks like he's able to get Yaze down. So now it's just going to be John C. Nobody who's left here. If he goes to Res Texas here, he is going to get wasted, but looks like he's going to just try and take his time. But not sure whether or not he's going to be able to save Texas here. Oh, the nade a little bit too short there and uh, won't be able to stop that. He's going to try and push the position here and see what he can do. John C. Nobody doesn't have that much time now. But looks like everyone is making their way and there's no more bridge camp here. So it's going to be a pretty decent situation there. But now it looks like uh, John C. Nobody and Texas here going to uh, just try and hang out for the time being. John C. Nobody going to use the balcony for a little bit more cover. Uh, Esco Rex uh, just going to boost up a little bit more before he decides to push further. Now, looking at how things are, a lot of teams here have already made their way. We actually see that uh, Lemon over here, all the way on this uh, western side of the circle, going to try and move in rather slowly here. Now, uh, looks like John C. Nobody and the rest here just going to try and hang out for the time being. Esco Rex currently... Uh, not wanting to rush things here as the last player left alive for uh, Baduk Kaki Langar. So now we see a lot of rotations coming in here. There's going to be the team members here from Silver Wolves, all moving rotating past Minion Copy Jap. So things are still going to be okay for them for the time being. But yes, now looking at Esco Rex deciding to jump out for the second here and uh, see whether or not he can catch out Kexis and uh, John C. Nobody. But he is. Uh, or Kexus is fully healed now, so it's going to be a bit of a dicey situation. But yeah, now looking at it, we've even got uh, Potato Squad, last team member, moving in here. As we have Gang FTY moving in, it's going to be some saying also moving in with their squad. So there's really not a lot of compounds left here, guys. So I think they can opt to take some of these ones here, uh, just western of the military base, but it's still going to be a little bit of a dicey situation. Um, but yes, in any case, guys... Uh, we're going to still see Awful Squad a little bit out here. Team 23 here is currently in the way here. And I'm not sure whether or not that the, um, the rest of Awful Squad going to be able to get in here properly. And unfortunately, it looks like Esco Rex not able to see out the rest of this game here as he gets eliminated by John C. Nobody there. And a uh, little bit unfortunate. But now it looks like Ghost here in a little bit of trouble here. Potato Squad could be going out here if he's not careful. Uh, he's got like one HP left there and uh, still got all the guns here from Silver Wolves here who are just trying to catch him out if he's not careful and still attracting the fire from Pashal there so I wouldn't want to be in his shoes at the, for the time being but circle number two is almost done guys we still see that uh, GIF Esport or GIF Alpha here currently still outside the zone for the time being now they're gonna have to make try and make their way over here and now the circle is firmly onto this side of the island guys so uh, can we see a bridge camp here from Red Sea that will be uh Probably the coolest thing that we can have right at this moment in time. Now, looking at things here, we got FFG here just trying to fend off the push here. But it looks like Jinka Lewa going down to Mora Drexis here. Uh, Nade and he's going to be finished here. There's only going to be Papa Zayed who's left here. Um, for uh, Papa Zayed and Rain Zera who's going to be left alive for Red Sea. So, uh, going to be a... Wait a second. Okay, I think it's another Red Sea. Oh no, sorry, it's Jinka Lewa. So yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, actually it's just Red Sea going to be here still on the main island here. And we see Insane Floyd and the rest of uh, team members from Team Crayon also making their way over the ways. So now looking at how the rest of this is going to be shaping out here. We also see that uh, it's going to be Lemon, Team Lemon coming all the way from the sea here. Actually, they were here a long time ago. I think they were just hanging out in the sea. They're probably just biding their time. But there's not a lot of places that they can try and uh, make landfall here. It looks like it's uh, Omaha Beach here. 1944, guys. Uh, except that there's really like no place for them to land here and they got all the german positions here ready to start shooting away and it looks like uh, a lot of shots onto puggy mom here as we see rain zara and the rest of red sea just trying to go to town currently john c nobody and the rest of squad number two currently coming over the hill there and it looks like uh, nrl getting knocked down rain zara gonna try and catch him out there but looks like not able to uh, prevent the the confirmed kill onto NRL. Now, Haha Goose is going to also try and get whatever vision that he can. Now, currently, he's taking a lot of hits as uh, now we see they are trying to focus their attention onto him for, the, for now. But they do also have the Buggy Mom guys, two of them, still on the other side there. The other two have gone for the bridge camp here. And uh, we see the whole of uh, Quacker Jr. actually going for a big swim here. And now others are trying to also make their way over as well. As now we're seeing, uh, oh, looks like Rain Zera here going to be able to catch out the rest of those team members from John C's everybody. And they go out in 
19th position, yes. So looking at the rest of these guys, now we see Awful Squad here in a little bit of trouble. There's a little bit of a, um, a tussle here on the road here as both... Two of the players here from Awful Squad as well as Ryujin here going down. So Supak Choi going to be the last one left here. And uh, looks like Papa Zayed goes going down here as... Uh... Uh, okay, Papa Zayed is playing with FFG. So yeah, sorry guys. My confusion earlier on, but the rest of the Red Sea guys are going to be squad number 20. And now looks like uh, their squad number 23 here is going to try their luck here and move across the bridge. But they do have problems right at the end, and I'm not sure if they're going to be able to get through it. Currently, they're taking a lot of hits, and uh, yeah, that's going to be it, as Errol and Fidox are going to be able... Oh, sorry, Fidox is going to town on the other side there, as Haha Goose goes down. Now, it's only going to be Rain Zera here, left alive here for uh, Red Sea for the time being. Oh, and he's got 8 kills in this game, guys, so he's been really going to town, all these guys here on this uh, western bridge entrance. But... I'm not sure if he's going to be able to catch a Demon Eater and Fidox as uh, currently taking tons of damage. But at least he's got bandages for days, but he's that, he just used his last uh, first aid. So that's going to be a tricky one. Now the circle shifting a bit more inland this time. Uh, it's going to be a bit more beneficial. Fidox, ooh! Just uh, not taking too many hits there, uh, fortunately for him. Now we'll see how that part is going to be picking up. But Reigns Era just going to try and... Uh, See if he can find a box with more beds here. I don't think that... Uh, oh, he just managed to find some. So he's going to heal up there. But Demon Eater going down here. But, oh, Rain Zeron won't be able to get off the heals there. And now it looks like uh, things are going to be heating up onto this side of the bridge. As currently we see uh, Quack Jr. here. Just trying to continue with their swim here. But they do have the players here from Pucky Mom here. Who could make things a little bit difficult. But... Currently, they are going to be able to advance a little bit far forward, but both these teams got a long way to go here. Uh, excuse me. But yeah, now looking at things, things are a bit more dicey over here on this uh, northeastern side here, as we do see that resurgence here. Currently, three of their players up at the moment, and uh, there is Gang FTY a little bit further south of their position. So they got all of their players still alive here in this game. And uh, it's going to be three players here from uh, GIF Alpha who are still currently alive. But now Errol is going to be the last surviving team member from um, Buggy Mom here. And he's going to try and return some fire onto Quack Jr. But at the moment, it's, uh, it's not looking good, guys. He's got all four of them coming in his direction, basically. So KMF1 is going to catch him out there. Errol, no idea where to look first as he's hearing shots everywhere. And now goes... and. M31 goes here, he is all the way out here on his own for Potato Squad and looks like he's going to get caught out by the team members from Silver Wolves. So Silver Wolves holding this compound with authority for the time being here and they still have all four players alive but um, they are on the edge of the circle here so that could be a bit of a dicey situation and speaking of dicey situations here we do see the team members from uh, Lemon here taking some long range fire and looks like uh, Bumpy J going to be able to nail that uh, car 98 shot there and more drags here going to also catch out Joku here. So now there's only going to be sick left there out in the middle there as uh, currently there's uh, everyone's on the fringes here. No one is really daring here. I think just to get into this region here it is really taking a lot of uh, a lot of effort here let alone to try and get inside. So. Little did they know that everyone's all on the same page here and looks like Insane Floyd gonna catch out uh, one of the team members here, Dog Jelly, but looks like they're also facing uh, problems here as look like Radicane here also getting shot at from uh, the players from uh, Samsung. Now Samsung just doing a lot of damage from long range here and uh, b right is uh, gonna expire there soon if he's not careful, but looks like Insane Floyd shooting at a dead body here. I think he's dead, man. You can stop shooting. But yeah, looks like uh, he's got a whole bunch of other guys to worry about who are just uh, a little bit further there in the form of something. But now we see Pattern a lot going down here. I think it was uh, Mumprung or or was it one of the team members from GIF Alpha? Uh, but yeah, in any case, it looks like uh, the team members from uh, 
Uh, Gang FTY are kind of advancing a little bit further. M0 and Allen's trying to get a little bit of better vision onto these resurgence guys. Now, everyone is currently inside the zone, so they don't have to worry too much as to exactly what will be going on. But for the time being, it does seem that we have uh, everyone still just hanging out around the periphery. But now is when it's going to be... Uh, Really dictating the play here as uh, we see the circle change. Now it's gonna still be uh, kind of on the eastern side here. So all these teams here, are gonna, like Minon Kopi Jab, we have the Silver Wolves who we're currently viewing right now. They're all gonna have to make their moves pretty quickly here. As uh, there's actually still one compound and uh, a couple build random buildings here and there, which is uh, still available, but it is currently a difficult situation. And <laughs> this Bless King here actually just snaking his way here towards this compound but uh i can't blame him all his friends got killed by the something guys anyways here so looks like sick here gonna rotate all the way around the side here just to try and get into some better position but now m0 gonna try and get some better vision onto this compound now for gang fdy as he's looking out for those resurgence players currently there's only kasake in the closer building but He's currently looking at every single window except for the ones that's facing M0. So he's just going to try and prevent further advancement. Resurgence is not going to be in too much of a rush here. They can afford to stay on the edge of the circle for the time being. Uh, but there is going to be all these other teams that are making their way. Something also one of them here. Uh, but Mamparang is going to come all the way over here and uh, try and occupy this uh, compound here and get a little bit of a split here and try and get that uh, map map control going here prevent these teams from moving into this space here and if they can do that they will be in a really good position it looks like 28 sk here on trouble and looks like uh Murpra is caught out by missionary so missionary leading the way with three kills there and he's got an awm as well so he's got his sights set on the kasaki now but currently they're not inside the zone they do need to rotate a little bit more and it's a little bit downhill so not a good position to fight against these uh resurgence guys here but it looks like the rest of puggy no, not Pucky Mom. It's actually something here. Duking it out with the team members from uh, Silver Wolves. As currently, it looks like Silver Wolves. Uh, I think they're all gone here. Yeah, they're all gone. And looks like uh, something is going to be able to get two of their players back up here. So a nice little uh, boon there here. So uh, now looking at how the rest of this is going to be playing out. We do have the pressure coming in from Minon Kopi Jab from the northern side onto Quack. Uh, Team Quacker over here, Darkus trying to lead the way here, see whether or not he can land some nice shots. And currently, uh, he does have Skyrex in the distance, he's behind the hill, or or no, he's just behind the tree, so he's going to land uh, one or two shots there. So Skyrex going to just bug out for the time being. Well, he gets a heal off, but he's exposed himself there without... Um, Take into account the potential flank there, and now looks like Darka is going to try and advance further here along the flank. And uh, looks like Legendary 6 here, as well as Forzen here, going to try and hang out there. But they're very narrow here, I'm not sure what kind of shots that they can possibly get here by staying uh, so narrow. But they don't have much choice, as uh, currently there is going to only be that one bit of cover for them. And, uh, ooh, looks like Gang FTY is really outside, so is Resurgence, and, um, this, there's still that compound right in the middle, guys. I, I, I can't tell why no one wants to go for that at this point in time. But now Rosalx D getting shot at from, uh, by crossing the road here. He should have used the traffic crossing, otherwise, uh, he wouldn't have got that ticket. But yeah, Insane Floyd still alive here for uh, the team members from uh, Team Crayon at the moment. But now Darka's going to try and get the smoke out for Rosax D. Legendary 6 and Forsen going to move further up the hill here. And Legendary 6 going to be able to get some shots onto Darka's here. If he's not careful, it looks like Darka's going to land one back himself. But he's got very little health left here for the time being. But now it looks like Insane Floyd going at it. And he managed to take out Forsen here. And don't know whether or not he could take out uh, another of the players there and uh, be a better use for Minon Kopi Jap here, but it looks like uh, Manparang here in trouble after he was trying to get inside the zone here. And it looks like uh, M0 and the rest of Gang FTY are gonna have to tr try and do the best they can. Luvia is coming up over the top here. M0 catches him out, and he also catches out Pattern a lot as well. So he's able to get the double kill onto Resurgence there and uh, lead uh, the kill charts here for Gang FTY with six kills here. So a nice game from him so far here, but 
now there's only going to be three of the players there for Gang FTY. They did lose Mamparang a little bit earlier. Now Missionary taking shots from K-Bytes here. Made on copy jump. Just going to try and put the smack down onto Quacker Jr. for the time being here. Quacker Jr. is going to be pressed against the circle here. And uh, that increasing pressure here. But it looks like Rosoxty and Snazu both going down here. So Darkus and K-Bytes going to be the ones to try and prevent further advancement here. Missionary is finished off there. But... There's still going to be two more players. Hunter Crew and Meow are currently rotating around the northern side, but M0 is going to pick up another knock there. Can he confirm the kill as well? Currently, there's going to be Meow as well. He has to come over the hill there. Uh, I'm not sure that there's any much more that he can do without incurring the wrath from Gang FDY at this point in time. So now looking at uh, things, they're going to go try and go for the res here. Oh my god, I thought the circle was actually moving a little bit faster here. It's actually the slowest circle in existence. But we do see the rest of the gang FTY guys here coming all the way around this side here. And looks like M0 going to be able to catch out Meow. Can he get Hunter's crew again there? As uh, now there really might not be enough time. As uh, now looks as though they're picking up another kill. Uh, it looks like Nisplix King here actually going down finally here. And uh, 10 kills already for Gang FTY. Can they get a few more here? Uh, Minon Kopi Jap have rotated a bit further down the south side here. And uh, trying to spot out uh, the player from... Um, was it? Quacker here. Legendary 6, last player here. But now it looks as though that Gang FTY looking to dominate the rest of this game here. As they have the position inside the center of the circle. There's still the three players here from some saying at the moment they could do some serious damage here and uh, looks like a bit of a neutral circle here but still no one going for this compound I don't know if someone uh, vomited in it or what you know but uh, yeah no one really wants that at all so yeah it looks like that's actually what's preventing gang FTY from actually advancing further they don't know if anyone is currently inside the compound but now looks like uh, Kabaya Kuning here Kabayo Kuning is actually gonna be able to or rather he takes a lot of shots from Legendary 6 oh my goodness, what are you doing? Oh, well, anyways, he managed to dance his way to behind cover there. So, uh, there's gonna be a lucky one there from that situation. Now, Legendary Six given his position away here. He's right in the middle of Minokopi Jap and uh, Samsung at the moment here. So, he does have uh, a Graza, but uh, if he gets sandwich, uh, I'm not sure what he can do here. Darkus currently just hanging out on the edge. But now it looks like uh, Gang FTY advancing onto the position over here, occupied by something. And But looks like Alan's going down first here as uh, Modrax here going to be able to get the knock there. Bumpy J here going to back, try and back up his teammate, but Modrax here going to have to try and uh, fend off here. But looks like Darkus is going to advance on the legendary six here. And Danker getting a nice shot onto Modrax, and now he's putting down Kabayo Kuning, and now looks like Bumpy J is going to be the last player here. He's trying to get some better vision on top of the rock. And it looks like M0 going to catch him out from the high ground here. So Gang FTY eliminates the strongest competition. Now it looks like it's going to be effectively a 2 on 2 unless they can get Allens up here against um, Minon Kopi Jap. So M0, can he add to that kills total here? He's uh, been having a monster of a round here. And currently Kaba is just going to try and hang out by the compound for the time being while Darkus is currently on the low ground but it looks like the res has been successful here Allen's is up so now it's gonna look uh, very dicey here if uh, the players from minicopy copy jump not gonna be able to get a uh, better position here so the smoke coming out there to try and um, confuse the player from uh, minicopy copy jump there it will affect the sound and make it difficult for any advancement to be heard but it looks like Allen's here taking a big nade there as uh, he has to play a little bit more carefully here. Uh, I'm not sure if he's got enough heals, but now looking at K-Bytes here, just going to see what angle that he can get. Now all these teams are just going to be waiting for that uh, final circle here, but oh, M0 jumps right before him. So now I think M0 has a good idea as to where K-Bytes is here. He's... Uh, also going to know exactly where Darkus is. Oh, K-Bytes uh, taking some shots at him. But looks like M0 going to get that shot there. And that is going to be it, guys. So M0 leading the way for Gang FTY on the way to that uh, round one victory here. And uh, 16 kills total. So 
really racking them up here so looks like m0 with 10 frags just by himself so excellent game from him there as uh they're able to overcome uh, minon copy job right at the end three on two situation but uh minon copy job did manage to do pretty well there darka's getting five kills himself there so looking pretty good for them and uh in third place uh it is gonna be the something guys there so they did pretty well there in that situation fourth place is gonna be team quacker also doing a pretty good job for that time being. And uh, yeah, guys, that is going to be it for round number one. So we will be taking a short break here while we wait for round number two to start. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in just a little bit.